What's up, everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to put new uh, new shocks and springs on a '69. This is a '69 Chevelle Malibu four door, but I think that you know after after '69, I think there's a first year they had this uh, type of suspension. It's a little different, but um, it should hopefully be relatively easy. I've never done it, but I'm going to be making this video just to show you guys how you know if you plan on doing it. Uh, if you run it, hopefully you don't run into any problems. Hopefully I don't run into any problems. But that's what exactly what this video is for. So uh, basically, the first thing you want to start with, obviously, uh, is jacking up the car. Make sure you got your whole rear end is, you know, it can fully lower down because you're going to want to jack up the actual uh, the body, the frame of the car. You know, not on, you have to you got to have that fully extended so your springs will come out. Hopefully that, that makes sense. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna do is start with taking this shock off here. Uh, this is the passenger side of the car. Uh, I believe this is a three quarter, <clears throat> three quarter, hold on. Let me go get a different uh, socket here and then I'll be right back. Right. Yep, that's three quarters, three quarter inch. I have to get something to hold on to that, that there. Now, I've never done this before, so I could be using the wrong tool, so don't be judging me. But uh, I'm just using what I think is uh, adequate, very adequate. I don't know if that's going to do the trick or not. Also, I don't want to strip this out. I guess take your time and have patience, but uh, I'm not one that has a lot of patience. Hopefully my face is another way. All right. Should be a decent grip there. And let's do this without busting my knuckles on the concrete. There she goes. Free. Well, luckily that wasn't too bad for however many years this thing was probably on here for. Usually it doesn't go that way. Usually it's complete opposite. I think I got new bolts in my new kit that I got, so I'm just gonna beat that out. Yeah, I'm just gonna beat that out. Let me go get a hammer. Put your back on the left side of this. You want your shock to flying off. Just a little heads up. Yeah. All right. That part's done. Now there's two bolts up here. Nuts, I should say rather. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you what size they are in a second. I'm gonna take a guess here. It's either half or seven eighths. They're half inch. Or not half, I'm sorry. Yeah, half inch. They're half inch. And, uh, I'm gonna put a, a extension for this. Four inch extension, or six inch extension. Just so I can get up there. And this is the part where you're probably gonna wanna make sure your car is held up enough. I'm safe. I have a jack over there. And two, th two things holding up the frame of the car. You don't wanna jack up your rear end though, it's just there as a third safety. Because if you jack up your end, then you won't be able to pull out your your spring there, and this will this will be also tight. All right, I gotta see how I get these. I guess I might as well show you. Those are what we're looking at. Those are at the top of your shock. I just have to loosen them too, and she should come out. They're actually quite surprisingly tight, or loose, I mean, not tight. Um, these also have a lock washer on them, so if yours doesn't, you might want to just throw a lock washer on them, just in case. I guess it's not, it's not super critical, but it might help you someday. 
one. Let's let's see. All right, I finally got it out. It wasn't too bad, to be honest with you. So, that's that, that's one down. And uh, I'm pretty much just gonna show you uh, one side, really, because the other side's identically, you know, pretty much the same, so. There's no need to do the other side. I guess I'll just pull out the spring, which you can already see it's really loose, so. That should be easy, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I like it. Easy. Get through that away. Alright, let's get started on the spring. There's a, a good way to do this, but I'm just gonna try to just wrangle the thing onto there, I guess. I don't know. It's not like I'm gonna use it again. Alright. It's still got the tag on it, though, from when they bought it. Huh. Interesting. Turn it up, down. Yeah, I need a little more clear. So, I'm going to do that here for a while. Alright, let's put it all the way. That should be. It's over again. Woo! Alright. That's some bad jazz. Spring. Nothing. Well, here's the finished product on uh, one side. So, you can see I got the new spring in, new shock there, and I'll show you how it's mounted on the bottom. Just for a reference. Make the lights. There's those two, two nuts and our two bolts there, and that's the, uh, the little rubber thing up there. And it just goes right on the uh, that that post where it uh, sits on, you know. And it's gonna do that side. I think uh, I I gave enough information for someone who didn't know how to do it. <laughs> 